keep in mind before you start your adventure that it may be a good idea to travel with someone who is already familiar with the roads or trails you want to drive. They can also help you out if you get stuck. Usually getting stuck is caused by one of two problems, lack of traction or lack of ground clearance. Paved roads have great traction, but dirt, sand, mud, snow, and loose rocks have less traction. Because of this, four-wheelers go to great lengths to gain traction when we can. Simply shifting from two-wheel drive to four-wheel drive can double your traction because the front tires are now pulling as well. Lowering the tire pressure will greatly increase your tire's footprint. This also increases traction. Using lockers in your axle's differentials will cause all four tires to pull together, allowing for even more traction than open differentials. Disconnecting the front sway bar will allow more wheel travel. Keeping the front tires on the ground increases traction. There are two problems with spinning tires off-road. A spinning tire will not move you forward and it damages the environment. The goal in responsible off-roading is to apply as much torque to the ground as possible without spinning the tires. The key to four-wheeling success is to match the torque your vehicle produces to the available traction from the ground. We cannot stress enough how important this is and how few people really understand it. So that raises the question, how do we increase or decrease torque? Shifting into four-wheel drive low range will greatly increase your torque. That's why you feel that power or grunt in low range. Having extra torque is helpful in climbing hills or over obstacles. Another way is selecting a lower gear in the transmission when driving. For example, in the transmission, first gear provides more torque than any of the other gears. If you need more grunt to climb over a fallen log, shift down to first gear. This works for manual and automatic transmissions. Okay. So how do you apply less torque? The obvious solution is to use a higher gear in the transmission or shift the transfer case into high range. Both will do their job in reducing torque. If you are concerned about spinning tires or getting stuck on soft or loose ground, upshift. Rocks generally have more traction, allowing you to apply more torque. Snow, mud, and sand offer less traction, and so you must apply less torque to avoid spinning the tires. Another reason drivers get stuck is that they attempt to drive over something taller than their ground clearance. If you straddle the obstacle, you may high center, making it difficult to get unstuck if the obstacle is wedged under your vehicle. One way to compensate for a lack of ground clearance is to line up the tires on one side of your vehicle to drive over the obstacle. This will lift the side of your vehicle and increase your ground clearance. Obviously, you don't want to get too high or you could tip over. Using these techniques can help prevent you from getting stuck. Go forth and have fun. Mm -hmm.